We're exalted in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we pray that you will bless us mightily this afternoon in the precious mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray the foundation in which the devil is using to rob us in our life shall be scattered in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And amen. And amen. I want you to turn your Bible to the book of Luke chapter 5. Chapter 5, Luke. Chapter 5, Luke. And it came to pass that as the people press upon him to hear the word of God, he stood by the lake of Generas and saw two sheep standing by the lake, but the fishermen were gone out of them. We are washing their nets. And he entered into one of the ship, which was Simon, and prayed with him that he would thrust out a little from the land. And he, and he sat down and taught the people of the ship. Now, when he has let speaking, he said unto Simon, Launch out into deep and let down your net for a draught. And Simon answered and said unto him, Master, we have toy all the night and have taken nothing. Nevertheless, I thy word I would lay down the net. You know, there is something God wanting to call our attention to in this uh, hour. Uh, the problem most of us is having with the kingdom of God uh, is we refuse the foundation of truth of God war to settle in us. If you look at Peter, Peter they all have torn all night. They couldn't catch anything. But after he listened to Jesus, I want you to get this clear. After he listened to Jesus and the word have already said to in him, everybody said, get power. The power of that word was already in him. You see, Peter was saying something. When it tells him to launch into the boat, I know I'm a professional fisherman, <laughs> but what I've received about your war, I would not doubt your war. I would do what you said. By the time, as soon as he releases the net, it's like the fish are waiting for him to be captured. Listen, this is where we're going. Why the power is not manifest in some of us is simply because we did not have a space for the war within ourselves. Peter had a space. Peter was connected with the wall. And the power of the wall was in Peter. As soon as Christ speak, he knew with what I had. And I have been fed spiritually because there is life in what he has taught us. I'm not going to deny what he has said. I got it to follow that instruction. Boom! Release the net. Because of the grounded word of God in him, pleasures have to follow. Now, uh, a lot of people use this word in order to succeed, okay? But I'm not applying in seed. 
the seed I needed from you is to connect with the anointing of the wall that you might be prosper. Hallelujah. I told us what I'm saying. Peter was connected because you know many anointing have been released upon us. And that you see a lot of people after they get their healing. I used to be surprised. What happened? Why that sickness need to come back? Because at the moment the word come to you, the power come. Let it have ground. It's easy to get miracle. Miracle can just come to you. But when the word does not have ground in you, you refuse to let the power of God remain within you. No wonder the Bible tells us when the demons are being cast out and that demon will go and stay somewhere, you have to come back to see is that power remained in you? That is why you need to be prayed for 1,000 times because you've disconnected with the original power you receive. When the word comes, because the source, where the word is coming from, originated by God himself. Hallelujah. When it landed in you, you receive it, but you let the part of the word not sit in you. And one thing you didn't know the spirit of God is not visible, but it manifests in living acting. What I mean by living acting, you're a living soul. Hallelujah. Everybody see every one of us standing here. Amen. Because we are living soul. Also, the spirit of God is not appearing the way you appeared. It takes the people God a place with spiritual eye to see. In fact, when the spirit of God is coming, when it's remaining about, let me say ten feet to me, I see, I sense it that is coming. You know, when it begins to manifest in any man of God, and when you see it's moving, getting closer to you, you begin to sense it. Many of you might have received that from me. You see that once I'm about to close to you, you feel that power. Hi. Hallelujah. So that is how it's supposed to be in us. Why we allow it to go? Why you don't let it remain with you? Jesus said, I stand at the door of your heart, knocking the door. I'm waiting. If you don't open your heart, Christ will not walk in. And he come with his entrance. With all packages, it's coming to start living in you. But you got need to let it remain in you. You need to let it remain in you. Open your Bible to Psalm 119. The Psalm 119. I'm going to read from verse 1 to 3. So you'll be able to see what God wanting to do. I, I'm telling you this uh, afternoon, believe it, anything that is holding you back, whatever that is speaking poverty, whatever that is speaking blockage, whatever that is speaking dead in our life or sicknesses, they are taking their head now. I know the power of the war will remain with you. You have to manifest it. I remember the Lord is telling me, I'm listening to one man of God. When I begin to listen to his message, the Lord was showing, I wouldn't want to say it because that person might have access to this message, but he's going to understand what the Lord is saying. The Lord is telling me, he begin to think, a lot of all lying against the Spirit of God. What God did not tell you, you are saying you are committing sin. Because you are letting letter to root you. What God did not say you are saying it as sin. You understand what God is saying. And many men of God is going to go to hell 
fire because of this. You are lying against what God did not say because of your own understanding of scripture. And judging people by your own accessibility. God have to tell you if you don't have understanding of hearing, be careful of not messing up your own hard work. Because all these men of God, they have a good heart. And most of people that don't, they have a good heart. But they cannot hear God. When their heart is talking to them, they talk God is speaking to them. Their senses have an idea. Maybe by one stupid story, someone have told them people like lie, like a mind like liken. Because you become a mind liken when someone come and talk about another minister for God to you, and you are using that time to build your own wall. You are going to hell. They call you a lie. You are telling a lie. I don't care what you feel. You tell a lie. Because you are not seeing what God is saying. Many people are in the scripture. They are practicing what you are practicing. Because they want to be known. They want to prove that they have understanding of scripture. They will know the world very well also. They know how to apply it. To convince people. That's why the Bible says, those who are led by the spirit, not those who are led by their mind. If your mind is leading you, it's going to lead you to destruction. Then you begin to act against the kingdom of God. I, I, I saw Neta, when Neta went to David, he was releasing the, uh, the actual message that he received because God spoke to him and let him see the dirtiness of act of what David did. He doesn't manipulate it to different things. Because a lot of people just want it to be known. You live in righteous, no doubt about it. You hate sin, that's okay. All is perfect, great. But you don't have the spirit. <laughs> Jesus gave a sample of someone like you. One of the Sadducees that came to meet Jesus Christ secretly. He said, all those things you say you are teaching, I do all. He so told him, go and sell. All what you have and follow me. The Bible said he left with sorrow. Because he can't do it. And he never do what Christ asked him to do. Because he just wants to be known along with Jesus. Many people want to be known and learned with Christ. But they are far from the truth of the kingdom. I want you to open your Bible to Psalm 119. <laughs> Psalm 119, verse 1 to 3. Blessed are the undefined in the way who walk in the law of the Lord. Let's get that clear. Who walks in the law of the of the law not in the law of their mind not in the thought of their own no wonder the Bible say those who are led by the spirit are sons of God not the geysers not assumptions, predictions, not those who are just taking things the way they feel it should be. Let you need to allow reality of light to come into your heart. Don't judge people. And God is warning a lot of people that practice such negativities. I know some brethren in a particular church I'm not going to because I was there before and I know the way we assess people. And when you see them hungry, it's nothing to talk about. If when they were talking to you, they are very rude with their own world. Do they really have the kingdom? No, it's not. 
it's not of hunger, disrespect, and not really give themselves. There are a lot of things I see that people have to be quiet. Who well, I didn't need to reveal myself. God has to reveal who He is to you to let you know. I've met ministers of God that know have the Spirit of God. Never know me. I spoke expressly of what God was just telling me about myself. And you can't see that than to be seen evil. A lot of people believe you are getting out of the will of God. I don't know how God is going to build on righteousness. God never built on righteousness. God never built on righteousness. Understand what God is saying about yourself. I read the first one again. Blessed are the undivine in the way who walk in the law of their law. Here, yeah, verse 2. Blessed are they that keep his testimony that seek him with the whole heart. Oh my God. That seek at him with the whole heart. You know, at the time Jesus was approaching Peter, the truth of fullness of the kingdom was strongly rested in him. Now, I want to tell you something. Because uh, this afternoon, as many that are going to have answer to this message, believe it. A great change manifested in your life, unless you don't like the truth. When the power and the anointing of the whole set on you, believe it. Everything called of the satanic holding your glory that must depart instantly. Have to go. Because they don't have choice. Because when the word of God settled in you, Satan have no place to stay. Because the fire and the mighty power of God rested within you and the fullness of glory of God must take place if it is sickness you have to vermouth how you have to go behind that have to go look at Peter he was highly tremendously blessed immediately of truth of the word of God it has to be here again blessed are they that gave his testimony and that seek him with the whole heart. You know what I mean? When your whole heart connected with the kingdom, you are totally disconnected from anything called darknesses. The foundation of sorcery, of witchcraft, of, uh, of bad days, wherever your name is taken to, to call your name, you are totally separated because the fullness of the glory is already rested in you. You cannot miss heaven. Heaven you can miss. Because the fullness of righteousness is governing your heart. Your heart will be rejoicing of freedom in truth, power of his glory. Oh my God, this, 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 is, this is just the truth of God. And this is what the Lord is asking me to tell you today. They also do not iniquity, they walk in His way. They walk in the ways of God. When you are walking in the ways of God, that means you are a fire carrier. You are carrying fire. Demon recognize you. Demon will recognize you. You are untouchable. La Kasoko to Yibasihaya. Their foundation is already erected a metal out of you. Why? Because you are walking in his way. That is why God used donkey. Donkey have to speak to Balaam. <laughs> donkey speak. The voice of man. Come. Because God was inside the donkey. <laughs> he can see the demon before the one called prophet can see it. Don't try God, man. Oh, come on. We're talking about the mightiness of God. 
Let me read that first three. Because that is the message. You got it to walk in his way. You don't have choice. The power of his glory rested in blessing mightily upon you. They also who they also do no iniquity. When you don't allow sin, when sin is not manifesting itself in you, you have to, you know, I've never seen the word of God lie. It too, it's too raw in life manifestation. It's too raw. It's too raw. In two places I was just ministering. When the word was coming out, I see people crying. Oh, na hala bosikida. They carry that woman. They quickly collected the child in her hand because the spirit and an anointing it take over her body, screaming. Walk in the way of God. You can see the fullness of the kingdom. You that wanting to be correcting people, souls are there. They have no. Jesus, go and walk on them. Stop giving yourself no trouble that will lead you to destruction. Understand the actuality of truth of his kingdom. Let it, let it rest in you. The glory and the power of him. For you to step out and do amazing things outside there. Oh my God. I went to a particular village in Malawi. I can't speak the language, but I have the pastor that is that inter interpreting for me. And I said, let's just go to a particular side. As we were walking, I saw a young lady coming. Then I smiled to her. I greeted her. You know, women, when man smile to them, they give attention quickly. That in a few seconds, the flashlight of the Holy Spirit showed me some trouble that is going through. Even how hungry she is. That's my shame to sadness. She started run tears. Then I gave her 2,000 kwacha. I said, give it to her. I tell her, meet me at the service. Will you come? He said, yes, I'm coming. She came. And God restored her marriage because of that just little evangelism. You are there sitting down, racking your brain on who God is working with because of your own accessibility. Packing your own package to hell. You better repent and change from stupidness. Go out and look for souls. Hear it again, my dear. They also do no iniquity. They walk in His way. Who walks in the ways of God will see the problem inside of men. And when you are talking about it, you are going to be accurate. And the one you start sticking into is not going to see your negativities. Um, giving yourself a headache of meditating what God is not giving to you. You can't sleep. Got to give this word. What word are you giving? God wants to do something amazing this afternoon. If you are there, let Him have His peace in your heart. <laughs> let God! Let him have a place in your heart. Peter received plenty of because he allowed the word to settle in him. Because if the word is not settled in him, you will not quickly change his mind when he say, I have tore all night, but because of your word, Master, I believe you are a servant of God. 
I can see God in you. I've been blessed with what you've already sow into me. I need to believe your war. Let me do what I ask you to do. When the war is settled in you, when you accept the word in you, the anointing and the power of God must pave way without even asking for blessing. Peter did not ask for blessing. Jesus did not say, I'm blessing you, go and be fishing. No, he just say, launch the net. Come on, simple war. And that's all. And the net went into tears. They have to get another ship. You'll be there, you'll be shouting upon demon, abandon you in the name of Jesus. What demon you need to shout of the body when demon will recognize you? Fall down and die. In the kingdom called nothing will fall down and die. The Bible says the truth will set you free. location of his glory was mighty on those who were actually letting the war dwell it in them. Let it live in you. That's the power of the glory. Enemy thought I can be killed. Because whatever they do in the spirit, I was just laughing over it. And the life is in me. And I'm moving by his glory. And he began to testify himself. Don't know many people I just seen the road. They just speak the kingdom into their life and come back. A lot of marriages settle. Because of that, a husband, the full of alcoholic get is delivered instantly. Because God spared his life for him. And that make him to become the member of the church. Let's look for Riso. Let's look for Riso. It is true there are many ministers. They are operating out of the flesh. Even people look at them as a, as a minister of God. But they are out to tally from the kingdom, operating in the flesh, walking according to will of themselves. They are candidate of a fire. And that is why you find yourself being tormented all the time by the power of Satan. Let's come out from nonsense. Let this world do it in us. I love this. Blessed are they that keep his testimony and that seek him with the whole heart. Blessed. Blessed. Peter accepted everything. He was blessed. Mightily blessed. Oh, it's time. When, when I begin to look at that word this morning, I say, wow. What a mighty power in the word of God. No wonder he is, the word is life. A lot of people don't know what life really means. <laughs> when life gets into you, got life, you will surely be full of life. Everything around you was surely full of life. I met a young lady, very young. In 2017, she was operated for Cecilia. And the womb refused to close. This one that I want, I say, have a picture with me. And I brought her with the pastor that is assisting uh, and assisted me and the other pastor to my room. Because we're not in the church, it's just a hotel. And the Lord revealed everything. The power of God come upon her. The demon that is in that Cecilia lifted. I saw it and it departed immediately. Duty is here today. Let's come and live by the power of His word. This is not a bragging. I'm explaining reality of truth of the kingdom of God.
you are just looking at yourself. You are better than Apostle. I read more than him. Yeah, this is you read more than me. But I know what I carry. It's not by letters. The fullness of the glory will do on it in me. If you don't listen to what God is telling you right now, your paper cannot take you to anywhere. You just need to give yourself to the truth. We are talking about life and truth. Be subject to the truth. I ain't got no grammar to speak here. A big word to speak. I don't even know it. But you can understand the simple English. Either I speak it right or I call passing to, uh, to uh, whatever grammar was. It has nothing to do. Christ does not practice that. He speaks plain language for everybody to understand. That's one thing each time I see Baba Deboye being a professor and a doctor, he speaks a very simple English. But the people are being joked because they have to capture you by what you are interested in. You have to be looking for grammar up and down when the truth is right beside you for you to accept it and walk with it and let the glory of God be manifest in you. Father, I just want to thank you. Lord, we give our praise. But that we exalt a whole lot. For these great revelations, may your people be loose through this world. God, I pray, as they accepted it, let the miracle follow immediately in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, King of Kings. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen.